Hi guys, we're joined at the 2014 Memphis Black Expo right here in Memphis, Tennessee at the Agri Center International. I'm joined by Jennifer, um, a member of the Memphis Health Care. I'm a member of the Tennessee Primary Care Association Statewide Outreach and Enrollment Department. Okay, that is a very long name. <laughs> But tell us a little bit about what the work that you do. All right, so today I am here with Memphis Health Center doing enrollment in the Affordable Care Act. Um, what we do is enroll people in the city of Memphis and across the state of Tennessee in the health insurance plans that are available to them now in the health insurance marketplace through President Obama's newly created Affordable Care Act. Okay. Um, how long have you um, been doing this? Since October. Oh, my gosh. That's quite a while. Um, with the Affordable Care Act, uh, you have a lot of people that are afraid of it because, you know, they've heard bad things about it, you know, probably more bad than good. What advice would you give to somebody that doesn't have health care that needs to sign up for this program? Definitely reach out. Um, get an application completed because how it works for everyone is a bit different. There are some people who will be ineligible for help um, because of what's known as the Medicaid gap year because our state has yet to expand TennCare or the Medicaid program. But for a lot of people, there is help and there is relief and payment assistance for the Affordable Care Act and the health insurance plans that are available. So just apply. Okay. Now, for our listening audience, what happens after March 30th? I know the, the deadline is March 30th. So March 31st is the deadline for enrollment for the 2014 year. Open enrollment will open again in November for next year. But if you miss that March 31st deadline, unless you have what's known as a qualifying life event that would trigger a special enrollment, um, such as a pregnancy, an adoption, someone's released from jail, um, the loss of job, gain of job, loss of health insurance coverage, then you will not be able to enroll at, between March 31st and November, and you won't be able to get health care for the rest of the year. Okay. What about people that have had legal trouble, like maybe felons or ex-felons, are they able to get the health care as well? Yes. Anyone who is not currently incarcerated who is a U.S. citizen who does live within the um, borders of the United States, so you can't be living abroad right now, but as long as you're a legal, legally present or a resident, then you can sign up for the coverage, and that includes people who have been released from prison. Okay. Um, where can our uh, listening audience find out more about you and the work that you do? They can go to healthcare.gov if they want to complete the application. They can visit my company at www.tnpca.org, and they can visit the Memphis Health Center. They have several locations throughout Memphis. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. No problem. Thank you. You're